Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. In the last lesson, you got to know three of the eMotion LV1 factory layer types. Channels, Groups, and Auxes. In this video, we'll look at the remaining factory layers. Select layers with these buttons on the right side of the mixer window. The master's layer is all about outputs. It's divided into two sections, mix bus outs, which includes the main outs, cue, and talkback, and the matrix section. There are three main mix outs, left right, center, and mono, each controlled from its own channel strip. Main outs can be assigned from any mixer channel or bus, except Q, Matrix, or Talkback. They can patch directly to IOs and to the Matrix. The master fader on the right duplicates and controls the fader position of the selected main out bus. The name of the bus that's being controlled is indicated above the master fader. Select which output to control using the buttons above the master fader or by touching the output's fader. The Q function enables auditioning and monitoring of a channel. The Q channel strip controls the level, balance and rotation, and processing of the Q bus. Click the gear icon beneath the clear solo button in the top bar to access the Q channel control in the channel window. This is where Q and solo behavior and Q source are established. Click the mixer tab to return to the master's layer. Q and solo are activated with the buttons at the bottom of each channel strip and cleared by clicking the button again or with the clear solo button. The Q bus can only be sent directly to IOs. It cannot be routed within the mixer. Learn more about the Q function in Lesson 3.8. The Talkback section controls the level, panning, and processing of the Talkback bus. Talkback can be mono or stereo. IOs can be assigned and preamps controlled from the channel strip. Activate Talkback with the Talk button on the top bar. Click the Gear button to open the Talkback channel. This is where Talkback outputs and presets are controlled. Click on the Mixer tab to return to the Master's layer. Talkback is discussed in Lesson 3.9, which is part of the Channel chapter. The matrix is typically used to send different mixes to PA systems, recorders, guests, and monitoring systems. A matrix channel's input and processing are controlled in the channel window. Navigate to a matrix channel with the channel selector in the top bar, or select a matrix channel and then choose the channel window. Up to 12 internal sources can be assigned to each matrix channel. Assignments are listed in the input section. The source of each assignment is shown next to its name. Use the small faders to adjust the level of each send source. And use the large fader to adjust the level of the selected matrix channel. Matrix buses can be mono or stereo. Use the Add drop-down menu to flip between the two. Refer to the channel window videos to learn more about the matrix. Use the Link DCA layer to adjust the level of groups of channels. DCAs work in more or less the same way as classic VCAs. They control the level of assigned channel faders without premixing their audio. Assign channels to DCAs in the Link Assignment section of the Channel window. When you move a DCA fader, the controlled faders don't actually move. Instead, they stay at their original positions, while ghost faders show the actual channel level caused by the changed DCA fader position. 
In order to change a fader's level with respect to the DCA, select or hold Control while adjusting it. To see and manage the channels assigned to a specific DCA, select the DCA and click on the Spill button. The DCA fader is shown on the left. Move between DCA spill views by choosing a different link in the drop-down menu. DCAs also remotely control Mute and Q. If a DCA group has more than 15 members, its channels will spill over to the next page. Go to the patch window to get an overview of your DCA assignments and to quickly make new ones. If you have more than one display and you're controlling a lot of your mix with DCAs, you may want to dedicate one display to the link DCA layer. On the other monitor, you can view individual channels along with all the other windows. You get a wide view with a DCA display and a channel-by-channel -channel view on the other. Cancel a DCA assignment in the link panel of the channel window or in the patch window. Learn more about links and DCAs in Lesson 3.11, Channel Links and DCAs, and Lesson 4.13, Mixer Links. Now we've seen all the eMotion LV1 factory layers. Each layer addresses a different type of channel or control. In the next lesson, you'll learn about the layer that lets you combine channels of different layers into one view, the custom layer. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.